Hey everyone, welcome back to the Barbell Medicine YouTube channel where we bring modern medicine to strength and conditioning and strength and conditioning to modern medicine. I'm your host, Dr. Jordan Feigenbaum, and this is a meat recap. I just had a powerlifting meet May 12th, uh, and I figured that it would be cool to take you guys through my meet day. Prior to this, my last meet was like four years ago, 2015 Raw Nationals, and the reason I hadn't done a meet for so long, I did the medical residency, and then I was doing a bunch of strong uh, strength lifting meets with the overhead press instead of the bench press, and so I actually didn't mean for it to go that long, but that's that's what happened. And so I knew I'd been wanting to do a meet, uh, an actual powerlifting meet, but I kept putting it off. I kept putting it off. And I said, I, I was thinking, well, maybe I'll do it at the end of summer or maybe I'll do it in the fall. But then I started looking at my schedule and I was like, oh, dang, I actually don't have a good schedule coming up as far as um, having uninterrupted training that's of high priority. So for instance, I'm moving this summer. Um, I was going, I'm going to Europe for uh, almost a month in August to uh, present at a conference. And then the Barbell Medicine Seminar in Berlin, plus all our domestic seminars. So I kind of just wanted to, uh, you know, get a meet under my belt while training was going pretty well. So I found this meet um, down about two and a half hours south from where I live right now in San Luis Obispo and uh, decided to sign up for it about four weeks prior to the meet. So not necessarily a ton of prep for this meet, but, you know, training was going well. And I, I kind of had an inkling that I was either going to test or go to a meet uh, relatively soon. So no excuses there. Uh, so anyway, I wanted to just take you guys through my meet day and give you guys a glimpse into what it was like. So so first, let's talk about my weight. Now, normally I sit between, you know, 203, 205. That's like my standard walking around weight. And for the USAPL and IPF, that fits nicely to the 93 kilo class. But this is actually my first USPA meet. And again, just on short notice, I was just looking for a federation that had a meet nearby. So um, I realized they have a 198 class and I was like, nah, that won't be a big deal. So about a week out, um, I just reduced my calories a little bit and I got down to, I guess it was 202, um, uh, 201 and a half rather, the Friday before the weigh-in. So they do a 24-hour weigh-in. So anyway, I went to the sauna. So I normally uh, compete at 205 in USAPL. So this is a USPA meet, it's 198. So few pounds over. I'm going to go take care of that right now in the sauna. All right, we made it. I feel like a wet rat, but i going to weigh in tomorrow and then eat on Sunday. And then the morning of uh, the weigh-in, which was Saturday, uh, May 11th, um, I was at 198.5 uh, when I left the house. And it's, again, it's like a two and a half hour drive, so I figured it wasn't going to be a big deal. Any event, it's a little less comfortable than I'd like to be. Soda, and uh, I don't like doing a little, a little water, water cut kind of thing, which I wrote an article about. I'll link that in the description uh, for you guys. But in any event, the main problem is I haven't had my coffee yet this morning, so this drive is relatively comfortable. But things we do for games. It was interesting when I got there for the weigh in, uh, we had morning weigh ins. And so I, you know, I strip down, I, I get on the, the scale with the uh, uh, official right there and I step on the scale, it says 90.2. And I was like, okay, uh, this is not what I planned on. And then I stepped off the scale and I stepped on the scale again and it flashed to 90.2 and then down to 89.5 and stayed there. So <laughs> I, I don't know, you know, the scales, uh, the digital scales are usually pretty accurate and I have a competition scale here. Um, the Tanita uh, comp scale that I spent way too much money on, but I just got sick of playing this uh, way teen game. That's a dad joke. I, you shouldn't laugh at that. But anyway, I was pretty confident that my weight was dead on. And so so anyway, after I weighed in, I just uh, went about my day, uh, found a coffice, ate uh, normally. Um, and the real thing was just getting uh, more fluids back in me. So I didn't uh, take a bunch of video of me just chowing down on food, but I really didn't do too much because, um, again, I didn't have to cut that much weight. So, so that, the rest of the day was pretty uh, low-key, normal Saturday for me. Sunday, ended up waking up. Um, pretty good breakfast in the hotel. All right, uh, just here, morning of the meet. Woke up, got some breakfast, and uh, just realized I didn't make a meat card. Uh, usually, I plot all my attempts and warm-ups and everything. <laughs> so I'm gonna do that. Um, yesterday was fine. Just hung out, enjoyed a beautiful day here in San Luis Obispo. Tom came down, had dinner together, and then, uh, yeah, just ready to go today. And then went to the meat venue. Now, 
there were three flights. I was actually the first flight. I expected to be the last flight because I, I had a feeling that I was going to be opening heavier than anybody else. But because I was a 198, uh, the 198 weight class, I, I was lumped in the first flight with the 181s and then the uh, heavy, heavier competitors were in the second and third flights. Now, if they had been going just by you know weight on the bar, I would have been in the last flight. But you know, you don't get to pick these sort of things, and so I was in the first flight. I would prefer to have been in the, in the later uh, flights just because, uh, you know, I don't like lifting first thing in the morning, but it was all good. So let's see, on squats, I opened at 250 kilos, which is 551, and uh, warm-ups felt okay, uh, you know, no big deal there. And then I uh, took my first attempt, 250. And belly show us. Look at this. 551 pounds at a body weight of 197. Super impressive. Make some noise for Jordan. Come on, Jordan. Two fifty kilos felt good for the first attempt, and then uh, I think my next attempt was what two sixty two five, which is uh, five seventy seven or something like that. Jordan. actually moved really well. Um, I wasn't necessarily surprised with how well that it moved. I just, I expected it to feel heavier. And I know <laughs> you're thinking, you're like, wow, your face looks like you were tra uh, straining pretty hard on that, but the speed was pretty good and, you know, no big deal there. So I'd actually considered jumping to 275 or something like that. Uh, but then I decided to be conservative, go to 272.5, which is 600, which would have been an all-time meet PR for uh, squats in knee sleeves. I've done 640 in a meet before with knee wraps, but um, this would have been a PR in knee sleeves. And honestly, I was pretty confident that I was going to get it um, just based on my second attempt. Then obviously that didn't work out so well. So I was already kind of bummed because I came, I did the meet because I wanted to PR, you know, on, on my lifts. I, it's not just to like go to the meet and try to win. That wasn't really that important to me. I just wanted to PR. So I was pretty bummed on that. And I'll be honest for like the next, you know, 10, 15 minutes, I was just, you know, bummed out about it. Just it's like the whole meat was ruined, but that wasn't true. And, you know, I had my pity party, pouted a little bit. And, uh, yeah, I, I don't have any sort of inkling as to why I didn't make my third. It just wasn't there that day. So, anyway, I got ready for bench press. And uh, I was really confident in my bench training going into this meet. So, uh, I actually bumped up my opener. I planned at, one, at opening at 185, which is 407. But I wanted to make a bigger jump from my first to my second. At least that's what I was thinking uh, based on. Uh, you know, how well my bench training has been going. So I opened at 411, 187 and a half kilos. felt way worse than I wanted it to feel, just way worse. And you know, the interesting thing, and I wasn't aware of this, I should have read the rule book more thoroughly. In the USPA meets you have to supply your own liftoff person. And um, yeah, I, I would have preferred maybe uh, more of a liftoff. Um, I also noticed that on my first attempt in particular, I was way under the supports. I was way too close. So I needed to actually move out, uh, although then it's harder to lift the weight out to the lifter. I don't know. It, you know, it, it was fine. Leah gives great uh, handoffs. So I just, I would have liked to know, I would have liked to have been prepared for that. So anyway, 187.5 moved not as good as I wanted it to, so I jumped to 192.5. Rick. Rick. 
And uh, that felt actually better than my first attempt because I think I pushed the bar back a little bit better. And then on my third attempt, I just jumped to 195, two and a half kilo increment just because 192.5 didn't feel great. And it didn't go. Uh, I mean, again, I tried to move out even further on the bench press, further away from the hooks, so I could actually push the bar back. It just, yeah, it wasn't there that day. And I, I don't know, even, even if I had, you know, Ray Williams giving me a lift off, I, I'm not sure that I would have gotten that. It just wasn't there, But which was really surprising because, again, in training, I'd pin bench 200 kilos. I'd benched 190 to 195, you know, a bunch of times in the, you know, two or three weeks leading up to the meet. So I was really confident in my bench press if, you know, compared to, you know, my squat or my deadlift, which also were going well. So, yeah, that was another bummer. So between missing my third squat and my third bench, I was kind of, <laughs> it was hard to, you know, get rally for the deadlifts, but, you know, got, had some food uh, and then got ready for the deadlifts. And I figured, you know, if, uh, if anything is going to go right for this meet, it's going to be the deadlifts. Um, so, yeah, the warm-up room, they had a Texas deadlift bar, which is, um, you know, it's a it's a whippier bar than some of the other deadlift bars that are out there, like the Rogue deadlift bar, which is not quite as whippy and also has wider hand spacing and uh, not quite as whippy as the, uh, and then the Oki bar, which is less whippy compared to the Texas bar. In any event, a well-used Texas bar is just fun to use uh, if you're used to it. Um, because the bar just, you know, it's, it's, you pull uh, on the bar and the, it gets to below your knees before the weights leave the floor. So it's kind of fun. Although if you're not well practiced on it, sometimes your lifts don't go up uh, in any event. So in the warm up room, my last warm up I think was 585. It, that thing flew. Um, it was fine. And then um, my opener was 660. But it's funny when I got out onto the platform and I went about my normal deadlift setups, I thought it, they were using a stiff bar, which, which is fine because I actually prefer using a stiff bar, just if I, especially if I haven't trained on a deadlift bar. Um, but it was a deadlift bar. It just it, it felt much, much different. And I'm not sure if it's because it was new or a different brand or whatever. Um, you know, it's just kind of a weird deal. But 660 flew, no big deal. So I jumped to 700. Um, that flew as well. That was probably the fastest I've ever pulled 700. Come on, Jordan. And uh, I honestly don't know what happened on the third pole. It went to three, uh, I guess it was 3.30. Here we go. Let's go ahead, strong fit. Let's get behind Jordan. missed it and honestly it's like I didn't even give it a good try I don't know if I was tired or just kind of bummed out but after my second pull at 700 I kind of felt like oh I'm gonna I'll pull this PR no big deal uh and it just wasn't there so hard to say like it, I didn't hurt myself uh I, you know I, uh, I felt fine I just wasn't as strong as I wanted it to so overall uh, the meat is not what I wanted but it's what I had that day I mean it wasn't a bad performance I mean squatting 578 and benching 425 and deadlifting 700 as a 197 in a 198 weight class you know it's pretty good it just they none of those were PRs for me and I really wanted to do that and winning the gold medal 772.5 kilos goes to Jordan and 
On the other hand, I haven't really done a powerlifting meet, you know, in a long time. So this is a pretty good uh, return to uh, the sport. All right, in the men's raw powerlifting open division, with a total wilds of 494. And I'll probably do a meet in October. That's the plan right now, just kind of looking at my schedule. Um, and there's, uh, I know there's a couple meets in, in, uh, uh, in the area where I'll, I'll be living. So we'll see. We'll see how I do. But first, I got a strongman meet. <laughs> I had this idea that I was going to try to do these competitions uh, before I ended up moving. And uh, Alan Thrall, uh, one of our barbell medicine coaches, you guys know, is the train untamed guy, has got a power or a strongman meet up at his gym. And so I ended up signing up for that. So I've been doing a bunch of strongman stuff. And I, honestly, it's beating the crap out of me. I've got these crazy marks on my arm that I don't. Yeah, I don't know if I can show those to you guys. And then on uh, on my back from the yoke, and then my hands are all beat up from the farmer's walk, which is fine. It's just it's like strongman is 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 a whole new deal. So we'll see. Uh, I'm excited to go out there and do that. And if you're in the area in Sacramento, uh, June second, I think is what it is. You know, come come see me flounder in the uh, in the strongman uh, competition. It'll be fun though. I'm I'm excited to do it. And uh, I was excited to do this powerlifting meet. USPA put on a great meet and a uh, headstrong gym down in San Luis Obispo looked like a great place to train to really appreciate them having me out there. And uh, it was it was great. It was fun. You know, again, uh, I left the meet, uh, um, you know, feeling like I wanted to come back and compete and uh, do better next time. So we'll see. Maybe October, maybe some other time this fall. And uh, anyway, thanks for tuning in to the Barbell Medicine YouTube channel. Thanks for watching my meat recap. If you guys like the video, drop a like and a comment below. Share it with your friends if they want to see me lift. And uh, we'll catch you guys next time. Thanks for watching. Bye.